up a special shout out to all my awesome YouTube members and patrons, Riptide, Anik D, Matthew Hall, Charlene Kelly, Yushika Bay, Madlo, Lucky Charms, Sam Medina, and Blah Beer Cookie for your amazing support. Hey guys, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die, Where's UK Mod. So last episode went a little bit longer than I expected it was going to go. Um, during the night, I just went and repaired some of my armors and made some space. I thought this was my shotgun ammo slot, but my shotgun ammo was on me in case I died. I should probably keep a little bit of ammo. I wonder if I shouldn't keep the slugs here in case I die. But at least we have a kind of weapon. Although we do have other weapons over here. So as long as I take like the pistol and some pistol ammo or shotgun. Yeah, well, well, we'll have a shotgun. We just don't have the ammo for it. But I need to make sure we actually have some on us as well. Uh, something that we can just defend ourselves or uh, get ourselves back with. Okay, so I made some shapes. We only had enough cobble for this. I'm going to keep these over here because, like I said, we're going to mark it on the map where all the safes are. And at the end, we're just going to quickly run through all the buildings again and see if we can't quickly lockpick those with the candy because it's only going to last for like a few seconds. And that's going to last for 45 more. Let's just do that. I don't want to waste too much fuel right now. There you go. Yeah, that should be enough. I do have some iron over here. Um, I want to make some repair kits to repair this, this, and my fire axe. I almost forgot about this thing. So if we can repair those, it's going to help us. Uh, we are making some more over there, so that's fine. And then we need some duct tape. But we're also going to need some... Let's just do this. Oh, I don't have a campfire yet, do I? I need a campfire over here to be able to cook stuff up. I could have sort of already had one down, but it doesn't seem like I do. I want to be able to also make myself some glue and stuff. I know that in the ca in the chem station, it's going to be much more affordable. And I tried see to see if I, I, I can hear the uh, the uh, the noise of the guy doing stuff in the background, but I don't know if you guys can. If you can't, then awesome. If you can, I do apologize. He's grinding stuff, and I don't know what he's working on at the moment, but it's just making a lot of noise. I know when my mother's vacuum cleaning, um, you can actually hear the stuff. We need dirty water. Oh yeah, if my mother's using the vacuum cleaner, then it picks up on the uh, the sound. So I hope you guys aren't hearing the sounds in the background. Okay, let's see. What's the difference? Six bones compared to six bones. Yeah, this one's faster, so I'll just use this one then. I have all the windows and all the doors and stuff closed, so it shouldn't pick up on the recordings, I hope. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, we have this, we have our duct tape. We are making more glue, so we'll be able to do that, and then we can make ourselves some repair kits over here. If I can at least have this back to break doors down, and then we'll, we can use this as a pick. I do need to see if I can't make myself a pick. And we do also have this quest over here to make the HD hatchet. I should be able to make that, but I don't think we have the amount of leather necessary. I need to kill some more animals or stuff like that, because yeah, we need... Well, I do have this. If I can get lucky, but we don't have a wrench. I was about to say, if we can get lucky, we might be able to go and uh, arrange that to get the parts we need, but we won't be able to. It's going to be a waste. Okay, do that, do that, make sure we're not wasting any fuel, and then we can make some more duct tape over here. I just want to make sure that we do have... Okay, what do we need for the workbench? I think we're going to need duct tape as well, right? No, okay. We need a wrench and we need a claw hammer. We don't have either, so that's going to be a problem. I need to see if we can't buy from the trader then, even if it's a crappy quality. Should be able to make them as well, but we don't have enough uh, forged iron right now. Claw hammer. That's 18. Yep, there you go. That's most of my stuff right there. And three leather. And then a wrench. Can I make that one as well? I'm guessing you do definitely need the normal wrench. And we don't have any points right now. I need to go into salvage operations once to be able to unlock that recipe. So we have quite a bit uh, ahead of us to do still. Uh, okay, we repair this and this. I need one more repair kit. I should actually have uh, more on me so I can repair anything at any time, but we want to save the forged iron for other stuff. We can't afford to waste any forged iron right now. Okay, food's not looking too well, so it's, let's eat one of those. And then, it's a shame it doesn't show you how long the food's going to take to fill up. It is increasing, but it's showing all over here. I want these back on the screen because it's easier to tell what's going on. Okay, so we're going to hand this into the trader. Um, it opens at quarter past six. I wonder if I shouldn't try and do one more POI before then. Because I need to hand this into the trader and then we need to see what kind of reward we're going to get. If I can level up before then, I want to see if we can't get more of that charism charismatic nature. Ah! 
And be careful. The reason I put this here, this frame, was to be able to go... Oh, crap. I don't have any wood on me. Oh, wow. Okay. It was damaged. I definitely damaged it, but I was somehow able to pick it up. But I knew the zombie was going to either just fall out that room or come anyways. Okay, that's a love heart zombie on the picture. I want to make sure we don't accidentally look at a picture that has like boobs and stuff out. Because that does get demonetized, even if it's just a picture, a picture and I didn't even mean to capture it. Oh, nice. Steroids. So I should be able to grab all my stuff and go to uh, the other town with the steroids. I hope. Because then we won't be encumbered. I, I wonder how much space we get uh, from using steroids. Come on, I need way more cobble than this. Way, way, way more cobble. Especially if I'm going to make a day 7 defense, which is this. Uh, at this stage, it looks impossible. We're going to need so much resources just to be able to do that. Okay, uh, be careful if there's a vulture up top. Yeah, we fall downstairs and there's going to be zombies swarming us. I wonder if there's a way to do this from the other side. Instead of uh, jumping down and being surrounded by zombies. I should be able to stack up against there. Let's try this. Okay, that's not good. Why can't I... There you go. Pick that up. I should probably try and take this uh, table away because the zombie's going to be able to stand on it. Crap. Come on, 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 come on. Okay, now the zombies are definitely going to come for me. Okay, that dog is breaking in. The problem with wolves is the fact that as soon as they break in, they can do some serious damage. Because they can fit through a one-by-one one block easy. Oops, there you go. Why am I crouched? Stand up, John, stand up. There's a spider zombie over here somewhere that I need to be careful of. Ooh, that wolf could have killed me just now. Please tell me that spider's gonna try and come through, yeah? There you go, nice. That actually helped me a lot, the fact that he came from that side. Okay, we're gonna do this, and we just wanna skin this wolf then. There's definitely still a few zombies down here. I think there's a bunker behind this wall to my left. There's a bunker on the bottom right. I remember this view. I think uh, last time I tried the... I don't know if it was this mod or Wolf the Walkers. I got stuck in here with Feral. It was not a nice feeling. I should probably get all that wood over there. Easy enough and fast enough to get all that wood. I need to get myself to a safe spot as well. Can I? Get to me safer jumping over here. I want to be able to jump up and away from the zombies. But I need to be careful because you can only jump so much. I don't think all the zombies just woke up, even though there was a lady just now. There's definitely zombies left down below. Um, I'm hoping zombies don't come through the hole that the spider just left. I'm going to loot all of this stuff on the way out. Firstly, we need to check whether there's more ferals and stuff. Okay, come on, come on, come on. As they come up, we can just go for the heads. See, you don't even have to hit them hard. And they stumble. Oh, crap. That was close. That was close. It's a shame. No, we, we might actually have wood, uh, some wood on us, right? Yeah, we do. So I can just do this and pick that up. Hello, hello, hello. I need to make sure there's no zombies left down here when I'm just walking in. It's going to suck when I'm down here, yeah, and all of a sudden just have a ton of zombies on me. Okay, we can close that off, so we can just focus a little bit over here. You guys, it's so much quieter just crouching and looting, but it just takes double the time. So I could have been done looting this whole room already, but I don't want to make too much noise right now. And the only way to do that is by just slowly and sh but surely going through this place. Maybe be careful that there's no wandering horde coming through over here. Some zombies are clever enough to dig down through the floor, other zombies are clever enough to go for the hatch. Either way, if we get stuck down here with a ton of zombies, 
We don't have any Monotovs left. Okay, so this gives you gunpowder and brass. Or well, as a chance for gunpowder, but uh, mostly just brass. I'm making a ton of noise right now doing this. Guys, we need a range as soon as possible. Nice, 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 machete. That's uh, usually the machete schematic is the one that I never ever get and we need it for one of the quests. Okay, and then I want to see... Uh, what I want to see just now. Salvage operations. Do we have, yeah, we've leveled up. Nice. Salvage operations, I think. Where is it again? Under agility? No, under intellect. It's for wrenching. Where is it again? Salvage, salvage. There you go. So now we'll be able to make ourselves a wrench. I need to make myself a few wrenches so we can get rid of this stuff. Okay, come on, dude. As long as you're uh, not with friends and they're not titans and stuff, we should be good to go. See, if I can put a spikes mod on this, we'll be able to do so much more damage to these zombies as well. Okay, now I just have to run to the trader. Guys, we have to try and see how many... Oh, crap. I'm trying to do as many quests as possible right now. Is that dog? You didn't tell me there's a feral over here as well. But yeah, I'm trying to do as many quests as possible before day 7. Because we need those rewards and the coins and stuff. The more coins we have, the more guns and ammos and stuff we'll be able to buy for day 7. And hopefully the day 4 drop, which is going to be in like 3.5 in-game hours, which is usually at midday, um, is, is going to have a ton of resources and a possible vehicle in it for us. Because if it has a ton of cobble for us, we'll be able to make a horde base, no problem. I'm actually really, really uh, hedging my bets on that. You've made my day. One of tovs. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's definitely what I needed right now. Quest very close by. Cemetery. Is that going to be the exact same one, or is that going to be the opposite one? At least now that we have the Molotovs, do this, do this, and lock one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There you go. The rest of this I should probably uh, drop off at the base on the way to the cemetery. To the cemetery. Oh, there is the other one. Nice. See, I wish all quests could be like this. Always, always, always giving you a new POI. Remember that I thought it was loot underneath, but I just saw the... That's the first time I actually noticed the candles. I already uh, grabbed everything over here, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, we do have stairways now. So we'll be able to run all the way to the base, or to our new town, easily. Um, I'm actually thinking of just running towards a town. Uh, running towards a town and uh, picking up your eye to take over at the Day 7 base. Because the pure eyes of you are such slim pickings, they're going to get wrecked during the Day 7 horde. Even if I, I wonder if I shouldn't just use my base for the Day 7 horde. Um, and just throw Molotovs and stuff down, we just have to make sure the stairs, zombies can't make it to us. Take this ladder up so the zombies can get to us, and then all we have to do is stand right here and face some zombies. There might be a titan or two, so we have to be careful of that, but other than that, we should be able to use this base as long as they don't explode over here. If they destroy our loot before we can actually take it back to the other base, that's going to suck. Okay, ammo and stuff we drop. Come on. Double tap. At least we have a ton of food. I should be able to make a ton of bacon and eggs. But I think... Just see over here. What do I need for the bacon and eggs? Just the cooking pot. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can actually make a ton of um, proper food for ourselves. We'll do that. Do that. Bacon and eggs. Six minutes. Twenty-two. There you go. In a short while, we'll have it a ton of food to work with. That's awesome. Okay, and the iron, as I get, I should actually smelt in. But I want to wait until we have a little bit more. Otherwise, we're going to be wasting the forge over here. But we can make a wrench now. Uh, that's also 18, and we only have 33, 32. Uh, let's see, is this going to be possible or not? Please, something's going to be possible. I need to make a little bit more. So we're going to need the wood, we're going to need the that and the duct tape, right? Okay, man, that dude with the damn grinder in the background is annoying the hell out of me. Uh, we're going to grab this. We need to make a wrench. Mechanical parts, mechanical parts. Wait, do I not have mechanical parts? Are you kidding me? We really don't have any mechanical parts. It's not that I just dropped it in a different box. We just don't have them. That sucks. I need mechanical parts right now to be able to make the wrench. Damn, okay, that's unfortunate. Now we won't be able to make that. And the claw hammer? If I can at least make one of them right now, that's going to help us a bit. 
for the rest of this been dump and then i should probably make myself some more frames as well because we've been, we've been using them for cooking and stuff as well okay we have enough but not enough fuel we can do this do this do this just one more damn okay i need 18 forged iron and some uh, mechanical parts to be able to do the rest. Okay, let's do that. We're going to make eight more. Okay, we don't really need that many frames. I do want to focus on doing some of the quests, but I think we should do that after the Horde Knight. For now, let's just focus on surviving and getting through all of this and then going from there. Food and water is doing fine. My water can actually get a little bit of a fill up. For now, where's that dog? I heard a dog bar or growling earlier over here, and it was definitely on this side. I don't know if it charged me or if it gave up and went a different direction. Either way, we need to be careful. Wait, why can't I? There you go. Hello. I need to make sure we wake up all the zombies over here. Hello. No one in the hole? No one in the hole? But it's just that one zombie over there. Oh, okay. Feral. Okay, that's a feral. He's a little bit faster than his friend, so I have to be careful of him. Okay, one, two, three. Three zombies. Okay, now we just do this and do the same as we did last time. And we lure them to this gate over here. Boom. Now we just have to throw one. Oh, general. Oh, these guys are tough. Crap. He's clever enough to jump up here. Oh, he's clever enough to jump up. Be careful, John. Be careful. Okay, come on. I need to throw it, but I need to wait until more of them are together. Damn, okay. I didn't hit both of them. That's unfortunate. I need to use one more now because that uh, general is definitely not going to be dying. Come on, zombies. I need you guys to be closer as well. I can't just burn a few zombies. If I see these zombies coming together, we need to burn them too. I just need to throw right there and I should be able to hit all of them. Come on. There you go. There you go. I need to be careful that I don't break the top block over here and then get to me that way. Boom. Okay, there you go. And then we can do this, this, stop one. Oh, I need to be careful that they don't uh, do damage to me. If I'm not mistaken, my grenades can do damage to me, even the contact ones, because I have the other setting on. But it doesn't seem like the range is all that much, so that's good. Oh no, I hate spiders. They always uh, end up knocking me down. Crap. Okay, we need to see if the trader doesn't perhaps have some shotgun ammo for us, because we are running really, really low at the moment. There's no loot bags on this side, so I need to drop down this side. Oh, they made a hole. Did not notice the hole. Okay, we have to be careful now because now anything from the outside can interfere. There's only the one dude. Cool. The more we can level up right now, the better. I want to put as many points in the other one as possible, but we are going to need the nerdy glasses to be able to completely do this. I should probably also go and make sure we loot all of the open. Uh, I already grabbed that, right? Yeah. I need to loot all of the open uh, graves over here because there might be some good loot in. But I think most of them are just going to be bones and stuff, right? Although we do need bones for glue anyway, so it's a good thing to check. And even the rotting flesh will be able to use for farming. The sooner we can start actually with our building and stuff, the better. Okay, also I need to keep my eyes open because last time... With the other, uh, one of these, whatever you call these cemeteries, there was actually an ammo pile. Yep, there you go. Ammo pile right there. I know the other one had an ammo pile, so this one also had to have one. Oh, hello. That looks closed. Imagine getting stuck in that because it's half closed, half open. That would suck. The zombies attacking you, but you can't make it out of the ground. You're stuck legs first, like you're in cement or something. Okay, the more of these quests we can do right now, the better. I also want to see if we can't get other pure eyes. Not just the same ones over and over and over again, but other ones. Because I do want to clear this whole town before we move on to the next um, town. So that means all the pure eyes. And if we can get all these pure eyes as a quest, that's going to help us tremendously. 
If a zombie falls down here, we might have a problem. Howdy, survivor. Well, okay, so... Ooh, more molotovs. Well yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, bicycle. Ranged mods, ammo crafting. Now nah, we'll take the bicycle. Thank you. And we're we'll able to get around in style. Open up Trader North... West. Oh, oh yes, that is. Problem. That's another oh, town, right? Black and market. Haha, <laughs> I, I forgot last time. Now we can go and do this. Trader. I should probably also mark this one, but it's not really that sequential, that important. Um, I'll just mark it just in case. Boom. Okay, now we have two traders. How much cash do I have, though? There's a drop. I need to go for that drop. And this I want to put on a helmet before I sell it, because in this mod, the more you sell together, the better. And guys, we got, we got this bike just in time. I need to drive for that drop that just happened. And now that we have the bike, we'll be able to do so. The only problem is we're going to be a little bit encumbered. So I wonder, does this space have any... Or does this bike have any space? I want to say, does this spi uh, space have any bike? Okay, where's that drop? Hello? I don't know why I always struggle to see... For some reason, I can't... Is that, that there? Yeah. I think let's go talk to other traders as well while we're there. So we can just well quickly do both uh, both of them. We're going to go for the drop and then we can go to the other trader in case we can sell stuff. I should probably also grab the three items from my base that we can sell. Because there's that one schematic and then there's I think an armor piece or something as well that we can sell. So we can sell it to the other trader while we're there and then firstly we just want to go for that uh, airdrop. I'm really hoping for some resources. Can I drop stuff? Oh! Yes! Yes, you beauty! I forgot about this mod. Guys, it's so nice having that much storage on just a bicycle. So even the bicycle, as useless as it looks, it's actually great. We can put so much stuff in there. Okay, I want to see, do we have any helmets that we can sell? I think I might have scrapped the helmet for parts. Um, can actually sell this. Now, you know what? I'm going to actually scrap this. I know we can get coin for it, but we can get iron as well, and I need forged iron right now. It might be a really dumb thing to do, but I need that more than anything. That, we don't have any helmets that we can sell, right? Nah. Okay, so for now, we'll just put this away. I'll not sell that right now, otherwise it's going to be a waste. And then we put that over there. This over here. And we have a heavy-weighted mod. So we can put that over there. It's a shame it's not the spikes, because that's way better for our current needs. Um, mechanical parts. I need to see if the other trader doesn't have mechanical parts. Because I need to make that other... Tool. I need to make the wrench. Technically, I need to make a few wrenches so we have one for ourselves and one to use. Okay, I'm going to do this. Do that. Technically, this has to go here. I think after I drink it, I'll just put that down below. And this we can put away for over here for now. We'll put that on. And that's going to be a waste if we put that on right now. Okay, let's go. I wonder if I should drink this now or before I run out of stamina. Basically, we need to be able to make sure that we are fast. The nice thing is, we can just drop everything on a bike. So as soon as we get a ton of stuff from the trader, or from this airdrop, even though we don't have the space on us to carry everything... Oh, crap. Oh, oh, that's the... That's a demo. I thought that's the Phantasm, but that's the demo. That's a me demo. I think it exp uh, explodes like a nuke if you're not careful. The problem is now I'm running out of stamina, so it might actually end up catching us. Okay, phantasm, 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 phantasm. Just go zigzag, John. Just go zigzags. I'm probably going to have to drink this quickly now. And then we do this. Let's go. I need to make sure we don't run out of stamina over here, especially since there's bosses and stuff walking around. I know last time I was here, there was a big demo walking around, so I need to be careful now. The fact that we just got the mini demo boss and a phantasm is not a good sign. Wrench, that's going to save us. Okay, let me just check. I think we also got a uh, altar just now. That's awesome. So technically, I'll be able to do a ton of digging. Yeah, I can actually go dig for resources. And then we can make our base. What's this place? What's this place? See, I might be able to live in a pillar like this for day seven. If I can use that as a base, why not? That would be the perfect day seven base, except for vultures. The big thing in this mod... Oh, please no, please no, please no. It's one of the bosses. The big thing in this mod that you have to be careful of, guys, is the vultures, because they can give you the vulture disease, the bird flu. 
And getting rid of the bird flu is really, really hard if you don't have the proper boxes for it. Or the proper, I mean, uh, meds for it. I'm so focused now on all the bosses and stuff around me. And I'm not paying attention to what I'm saying. Ooh, the spider died of here. Nice. Okay, so, um... Yeah, we didn't loot everything last time we were, did we? Oh, nice, we can go, uh, pick up all the coffee. I need to be careful, though. Even though zombies can't break into the trader, they can jump over. Because if they stand on their friends' heads, especially the titans, I don't think they even have to stand on heads. Okay, so that is better up. We can sell this one, sell that one, sell all of that. Oh, that's nice. The wrench. I still need to make one wrench, but now I can wrench stuff to get them those mechanical parts. That's really, really, really going to help us. Heat resist. We don't need that right now. Just that's so, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, damn it. It's scrapped. I wanted to see if I can't put that on us. And we have a hunting rifle repair kit, so we might be able to use a proper hunting rifle. Nope. Why do I keep scrapping? Oh, well, we need the leather. <laughs> I keep scrapping stuff, but we could we could actually go and use it. Wait, this is cold. 8.27. 7.3. 7 yeah, let's use this one. And this one we can scrap. But yeah, some of the stuff I could actually use, but I keep scrapping it instantly. The auger we'll be able to use, but we need a... I think we do have a little bit of gas, but I don't know how much resources we'll be able to get. I was actually counting on like getting a ton of resources, and nope. I'm hiccuping like crazy right now. Okay, we can sell these, but we actually should put it on a vehicle. These as well. I can just well take this back to the base with us and sell it to our trader. Okay, the mo let's put all the mods. The stuff we can sell, we'll keep over here. The stuff we might be able to use, we'll take with us. Here you go, okay. friend. So you what are now you open. Just I should probably start accepting some jobs from him as well, but all of his jobs are a little bit tough. And it's in this town. I want to first get our other town done before doing this. Okay, we have some stuff to sell you. Boom, boom, boom. Sell these. Uh, baton parts. I don't think we have to make a baton anytime soon. Machete parts we need. Steel tool parts we'll need. This we can actually scrap because we have the crappy one. Okay, uh, we have 4,700 coins. So what can we buy with this? And you reset day five. I think the traders reset every day in this mod, right? I need to, I need to remember that. Ooh. If I buy one, I don't have to make one. So we can use the other forged iron to make a table. So we'll buy this one. We'll, we can use one to range. We can use one to make a table. And then... What else can we buy over here? I need something like a, uh, a game changer. But I don't think there's anything like that here. I need blue. I do have bones, but we need the dirty water. Oh, ooh, 3,000. That's going to give us more XP, and we need the glasses, so we might actually get lucky. XP gain plus f only 5%. Was it nerfed, or are they all different? But yeah, I do need that because I need the intellect boost. So that's awesome. Duct tape. Forge steel. We don't need any of that stuff right now, as far as I'm aware. We do need cobble, though. If I can buy all this cobble... That's cheap enough. So we'll be able to make ourselves a ton of cobble blocks and we might actually be able to do ourselves a horde base. That's 420. What do we have left? Oh yeah, I need to buy shotgun shells. I keep forgetting. All the time charges. The more of these we have, the better because we'll be able to open stuff up. Uh, but we... No, no, no. They don't, they don't definitely open something up. So we need to be careful. I'm just going to sort of mark all the safes on the map then later go back to all those safes. But yeah, guys, now we actually have some awesome stuff that's going to help us tremendously. Let's just do this. I need to go back to the base and drop all of this stuff off. If you guys like this episode, leave a like and share with your friends. Comments, tips, and feedback, leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for this content. See you guys next time for some more Where's UK fun. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or the Patreon link in the description down below.